Hi guys, welcome to Zach's Running Adventures. Today we're gonna pick oranges. What are we picking? Oranges. Let's do it. Orange Grove. So the first type of orange we're picking is what, Jack? Temple. Temple, which is actually known as a hybrid orange. It's a mix of mandarin and a sweet orange. So how do we know that an orange is ripe? It's orange. It's orange, right? It's orange. This one's orange. Okay, that has a little bit of green in it, but that's pretty close, right? Do you wanna go check it out? Let's do it. Guys, look at all these orange trees. Holy moly. Okay, guys, so look at these. These are obviously on the tree. They are super green, meaning they are not re ready yet. We were really affected, a lot of these orchards, by the frosts we've had this year. But this, look at this, I'm touching it. It's a little soft. Holy moly. That thing is ready to be picked, but I'm gonna let Jack do his thing. Look at that, guys, they're picking oranges. So much fun. Guys, look at this delicious orange, I'm gonna eat it. Was it delicious? Oh my gosh, it, it's not delicious. It's sweet. It is delicious. Do you have a new set of teeth right there? Those look amazing. No? And you have how many in your basket right now? One. We're getting heavy duty stuff. You want to go hit the other oranges? Let's do it. Guys, did you know that Christopher Columbus brought fish to the new world? What kind of orange is that? It, Murdoch. Murcot? Yep. It has bod poop on it. So. Does it? Well, that happens sometimes with our fruit, right? Because animals live out in nature, just like with the fruit that's grown. Aunt Jess, what did you see? I'm gonna put think that one's right. Oh, that looks beautiful. So guys, this is the murcot orange that Jack is peeling. Ooh. Look at that. So the Ooh. peel goes over, Ooh. right? That's kind of an interesting strategy when it comes to peeling. But we're getting it and it smells really delicious. So in Florida, oranges make up about 86% of the citrus production here. Um, and the harvest time is usually between October and June. And when I tell you being able to do a you pick it wherever you may live, when you're in season, there's just something fun about seeing where does my fruit or my vegetables come from? And this orange right here, holy moly guacamole, is it delicious? Two thumbs up. That's important, Gabe. <laughs> yeah. Ow. <laughs> Guys, did you know that citrus is high in fiber and vitamin C? Is that true? Yeah. Dig it. Sing and, about it. And look at all the oranges I picked. Let me see. What do you think? The slingshot. Oh, you want to do the slingshot? Yeah. Let's do it. And Jess is going to shoot an orange. Do it. Three, and two. I'm gonna hit Oh, Bad. that, let's try. let's try it again. I'm gonna show you how close I You guys, have you ever launched an orange, right, on a slingshot? Yeah, I think the lower you go, the higher it goes. Jack, I feel the vibes, baby. Three, two. Yeah, the lower you go. Dude, Jack, that was legit. That was halfway across the pond. Three, two, oh. launch, dig it. Guys, did you know the search is very sensitive to the code? They don't like cold weather? They don't. Guys, we're at a citrus bow. You want to check it out? Yeah. Let's go. Mr. Lewis is right here. Guys, look at this. Holy moly. There they come. Go straight, Jack. You do the blue. Wow, guys. We're at an orange grove, and when I talk about thousands and thousands of oranges, Jack, what is that? So this is where the oranges come from, guys. The citrus comes down here. It just came off of the trees. Mr. Jack is keeping an eye on things with Jack, and these suckers are getting washed. And then they're going here. Holy moly. Jack, where do they go next? What? To Mr. Lewis! Wow! You're with Mr. Lewis! Hi, Mr. Lewis! How do you, how do you catch up with that? Look at this, guys! 
So, Mr. Lewis, are you sorting through the, the good and the bad oranges and grapefruit? That's what I'm doing, yeah. Okay. So, Mr. Lewis, who is super awesome, is the citrus king here. He is doing what's called grading the citrus, meaning keeping the stuff that is good and that's going to go to market, and then the other things are placed in an area that they're just not um, edible. And one of the cool things about Schatz Grove here in Vero Beach, they actually donate a whole lot of uh, citrus products to our local food bank, which is amazing. They do a lot of great things for our community. Guys, if you like today's episode, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. And remember, adventure is... Awesome! awesome.